Thousands of runners took over the streets for beta breakers. The event is known for people in wacky costumes and today did not disappoint. From the famous pink gorilla to food and even super superheroes, they took the day off to join the fun. Devin Feely has more. It is never entirely clear if the Beta Breakers is really just a massive costume party masquerading as a race or vice versa, but it is without question a spectacle, one that brings runners back year after year after year. The people, the fun, the costumes, the music, the happiness, being able to run through the city of San Francisco. We found Phyllis Nabin near the starting line of today's race. It's her 39th time running, dating all the way back to 1983. We just had a blast. It was so much fun. And so from then on, I, I did it every year. Minus those pesky pandemic years, of course. But the race is back in person, an explosion of colorful costumes yet again. This is at least maybe our sixth time running as chickens. Like the race itself, Cindy Rittenhouse's and Sandy Rolfe's costumes have grown more elaborate with time. Started with the hats, and then we've slowly added to it. Tutus, feather, yeah. oh, yeah. Had feathers there. Little that. bib. Compare that to the minimalism of newbie John Francis from Cleveland. It's warmer in Ohio, I think, right now you know, than it is here. But you can see I'm, I'm prepared. I got my bag on. This is running couture. John Francis, you get a pass this time, but you'll need to add at least a feather boa next year. I mean, come on. Come to think of it, you know who could give some sartorial advice? Phyllis. She's got four decades of experience under her fuchsia tutu. It's the most fun race I've ever, ever done. And take a look. That's our own Ryan Yamamoto with his wife in their colorful tutus at the starting line. Ryan also shared some of the videos of his progress through the course.